Hey guys, this is Surya from Skillink. Hope you're doing well. Welcome back to another video. In this video, we are looking at electric vehicles. This is a continuation of our top five job roles for an electric vehicle engineer. So this particular video will look at the skill sets that you need to have in order to get a successful entry into these job roles and the software tools that you need to know. Right? I'm going to quickly go over the job roles and then jump onto the skills and the software tools that you need to succeed in this particular career. Let's get into the video. So as I said in the previous uh, video, so the five job roles are modeling and simulation engineer, hardware design engineer, power electronics, PCB design engineer, motor design engineer, battery management system application engineer. Now let's get into the skills that you need to get these job roles. For modeling and simulation engineer, what do you need? You need to have a very good understanding of basics of circuit analysis and design in order to get into a modeling and simulation engineer. And if you are looking at tools, uh, circuit simulation using MATLAB and Simulink, Plex and LT Spice. These are the tools that usually are used in the industry. If you have a good idea of these skills, you can definitely apply for a job role which has modeling and simulation engineer. Second job role, which is hardware design engineer, power electronics. The fundamentals you need to have is application of control systems and programming of microcontrollers. Once you have that, then you need to have a knowledge on applying those aspects in a software with embedded systems like Altair Embed. Right? So this is for uh, the second job role. The third job role is PCB design engineer. Uh, for a PCB design engineer, the fundamentals that you need to have is fundamentals of electromagnetics and a good knowledge on working of electrical machines. Right? Once you basically have that, then the software tool that you need to know is PCB design using Altium Designer. Again, this is one of the software, but widely popular software for PCB design. If you want to get into PCB design engineering, so electromagnetics, working of electrical machines and RTM is the way to go. Motor design engineer is the fourth job role. And for that, you need to have a very good understanding of digital and analog electronics. That's one. And you need to have an understanding of operational amplifiers, oscillators, flip-flops, logic gates, and so on. Right? Fundamentals is understanding digital and analog electronics. After that, you need to have a good understanding of operational amplifiers, oscillators, flip flops, logic gates, and etc. The software that mostly popular is ANSYS Maxwell for motor design. If you're interested, this is the aspect where you need to take a look at. Uh, for BMS applications engineer, battery management systems application engineer, uh, you need to have an understanding of analysis of power converters and motor drives. So this is the aspect that you need to take a look at. Then, uh, so here you need to have data analysis background with Python, right? Python or MATLAB, both works as well. Uh, so these are the five job roles and the skill sets associated with these job roles that you need to know if you want to get into these job roles as well. So this is the second part of the video. The third part of the video is where I go on and speak about the projects that you need to work on in order to get these job roles, right? So stay tuned, subscribe to this video. Also comment your questions so that we can answer your questions. And the next video is going to be available in the next 24 hours. So definitely subscribe so that you get a notification.